I don't know who needs to hear this, but Jesus was not crucified on a Gucci cross. He didn't have on a crown of Versace thorns or Nike shoes on his feet when the nails pierced through. There was nothing bougie about Calvary. That old ruggedy wooden cross wasn't even befitting to hold the carpenter's son, but there our God hung, held on by his love for us, by his love for all. It wasn't a red carpet affair for your favorite celebs. Matter of fact, the only paparazzi was an angry mob as a crowd of witnesses. Once upon a time, I thought the crucifixion was like the Grammys, an award show only for a self-righteous few, but the Bible didn't mention an ovation. Only wrongful accusation, hate speech, and booze from fools as the King of Glory came through. But boy, did Jesus make a runaway out of Golgotha. Adjusted that burden of a cross, you would think he was like by that over his shoulders. I heard that he stated that when Jesus said it is finished, that was a fashion statement. Even in suffering, the sovereignty of his majesty could not be hid. But make no mistakes. Jesus felt every nail, felt every whiplash, every rib crack. It was for you that he braced the pain. Humiliated and stripped. His robes were confiscated like a game of Monopoly, they threw dice. Pierced, blood and water flowed from his side. Permit me to say that the drip is eternal till date we are healed by his stripes. I guess all I'm saying is, just so stuff you die. Literally, I mean, he prays the cross for you and I. So do not let the devil have the last laugh because Jesus made a joke of death. Showed up at the gates of hell, was like, knock, knock, guess who's here? Shut down hell's party, set captivity captive. Who else raises the dead? Even in death is the audacity for me. But the story doesn't end there. He showed up on the third day like, I'm good and you are too. One with the Father, my blood makes you brand new. So what did I prove to you need that God loves you? I do not know what your past is, but trust me, Jah is past it. Do not bottle in your shame. God calls you by his name. No capping. So when the serpent comes to the ring, hissing, whispering, deceitful accusation, speaking in pastor tongues, this is clapback season. Declare boldly, my sins are forgiven. I do not know who needs to hear this, but Jesus was not crucified on the Gucci cross. It doesn't matter your age, gender, race, or net worth, only that you have been made holy. Thank you.